Hi everyone. I am so sorry for not posting for so long. Uh, life has been incredibly hectic lately um, with working. Uh, as you can see, I'm not in my usual setting. I'm uh, making use of not having anyone in the workshop uh, to say hello and let you know what's going on. Um, I have just um, just gone past my two month post op lap band anniversary. And um, for that day, I weighed in at 99.9 .9 kilograms. So I just made it into under 100. I was so ecstatic about that. I was so happy to see a different number other than 100. Um, and that equates to about 220 pounds. Um, so yeah, going good. I'm still meeting my uh, goals per week to lose um, a kilo a week. Uh, sometimes it's less than that, but I still get under the amount that I was supposed to be by that week, so it all works out in the end, which is great. Um, I would really like to go and get another fill because um, my weight loss is slowing every week. It's getting less and less, and it's getting harder and harder to control what I'm eating. Um, I am still being slowed down by textures of certain foods um, and my portions are still bigger than I would like. Um, I still get hungry um, from morning to lunch. I'm hungry by about 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, so the fridge just stopped rattling. Um, what else do I have to share with you? I'm doing Zumba now. Um, I am trying to do a 20 minute workout every night and um, I'm currently downloading some more, um, more of the DVDs because I've only got the quick workout one and I'd really like to be doing more than 20 minutes a night. Um, I can always do it twice. I might do that tonight. Um, and that's really getting me sweating and sweating is good. I'm finding that the the more I work out, the, the more I lose, obviously. <laughs> and um, I was like walking the dog for about half an hour every night. Um, and that was doing well in the beginning, but um, I could feel my body getting used to it and um, the weight loss has just slowed. Um, what am I eating? I'm eating a lot of yogurt. I found a really good yogurt, um, the Formay range. Um, you have to be really careful with the sort of um, yogurt you choose to eat because they give the illusion of being healthy, but a lot of the time when you actually check the nutritional content of the um, yogurt, it will actually have in excess of 20 grams of sugar per serving, and that is way too much. Um, I'm going to recommend a great video for everyone to watch, um, especially people who enjoy having a drink of Coke every now and then. Um, it's called Sugar, The Bitter Truth, and um, it's got a lot of biochemical um, sort of how the body um, metabolizes the stuff in food, uh, which is a little boring, but uh, the main points of it are really, really interesting, and it has really given me a different point of view on fat versus sugar and what's really important to look out for in food. Um, at the moment I'm trying not to have anything that has really more than 15 grams of sugar per serving because it's just too much. Um, what else do I eat? I eat cheese. Um, I'm eating a lot of chicken. Chicken is a big thing at the moment. I get sliced chicken, uh, thinly sliced chicken breast and I'll eat um, about 100 grams of that to 200 grams of that a day um, and then I will usually have chicken for dinner. I've had chicken parmigiana this week. Um, I had an experience of going to a restaurant and ordering an entree sized meal which was very exciting and um, I ordered the, it was a grilled chicken with um, like a, a Caesar salad and um, that was really nice and I got through it and I was fine and I was I was really worried about um, having an incident at the restaurant but it was all cool and um, it's just really choosing something that you know you can eat 
um, and trying to choose a small serving because I knew, I, I could see the people with their food coming out and I could see that the serving sizes were really large and I was like, I definitely need to order an entree size here. Um, I have been having a lot of stuck episodes. I've had climbing, I've had, um, I've had a productive burp, um, but all in the comfort of my own home. So uh, it hasn't really been a big issue and um, kind of getting used to it as part of, you know, life with a lap band, you know. Um, I do try my best to choose foods that are going to be good for me and easy to eat. Um, and I do try and eat slowly and chew and all that sort of stuff, but sometimes you just can't help it and it's just what happens. And um, yeah, I've come to accept that and that's cool. Um, so really that's about it. I've got another two weeks until my um, my second fill appointment and I have a feeling I'll get another meal put in because um, that's what another chick from the same surgeon had. So that will hopefully bring me up to five meals because I'm really feeling that four isn't enough and I really wish that I'd had a more aggressive fill. Um, at my appointment I am going to talk to my surgeon about um, aggressive fills versus um, low fills to last the life of my lap band. Um, because I've heard from um, someone's video, I think it was Jen, I can fire, she was mentioning that her surgeon does very slow fills so that um, even as you lose weight, because as you lose weight the band, um, the fat around the band makes the band less tight so you need more liquid in it as you lose weight. Um, so I don't want to get to goal and then have nowhere to go with my fills, you know. I don't want to be at nine mils when I'm like really skinny or whatever without much fat around my stomach and then have nowhere to go um, for more restrictions. So I'm going to mention that to my surgeon, even though my surgeon really, really intimidates me. So every time I go in there I have all these questions and as soon as he starts talking I'm just... Um, everything just goes out of my mind so um, I'll have to make sure I take my boyfriend with me because uh, he he actually listens that as soon as I walk out that door everything's gone out of my head because I'm just so overwhelmed um, well that's what happened last time anyway um, that's really all I have to share um, I can't promise regular updates uh, I just don't really get much time by myself so it doesn't really happen but I will endeavour to try and update when I have something to share. Uh, so thanks for watching. Okay, bye.